Well, Katina is coming up pretty soon at SBS. It's on the 5th of November. Times are changing quickly. And I think that Buddhism can help us to retain a lot of our social fabric, our social cohesion, you know, our social structures. If we hold on to some of the customs the best we can, things like Katina. Katina is a great example. Okay, so that's coming up on the 5th. And it gives us a chance to come together as a community. It gives us a chance to share the same beliefs, the same values, to reaffirm what it is we stand for and what we are aiming towards together. It's our reason to be united instead of just randomly being scattered off to every different lifestyle where there is not this social cohesion anymore. We lose a lot if we lose that social cohesion. We lose a lot of happiness. We lose a lot of support. We lose a lot of emotional well-being if we lose that cohesion. Now, of course, for those who meditate, especially the monks and nuns, there's a lot of emotional well-being we get out of that meditating, okay? We can feel very peaceful, very blissful, and we should do that. But I say don't take for granted the social cohesion that we get out of these events like Katina. Don't take that for granted. That cohesion is easily lost. When I say cohesion, I mean like togetherness, especially after these pandemic times where we had a lot more solitary living than we were accustomed to. Hopefully everybody comes out. I encourage wearing a mask, at least if you're going to be nearby other people. If it's going to be a crowd where it's tightly packed, yes, please have a mask. And if there are people you know used to come in the past, but now they're like, I don't know if I want to come, I'll be like, well, just wear a mask and come. You totally should come. Please try to convince people it is good for them. It's good to just come to the forest at all. Come hear the birds chirping. Come see the place. Come see the monks. Just do it.